Hey guys, Austin Maliolo of the Reebok Training Center breaking down the Roadrunner Workout of the Week. Now we have a simple one on paper, but it's gonna be spicy. It's gonna be five rounds of 30 lunges, 20 sit-ups, 10 push-ups. Now, when we think about this workout, five rounds, it's a lot of volume, but from a running perspective and transferability from what we do in the gym to on the road, we want to start to understand that strength and conditioning it really starts with midline stabilization and then quarter extremity movement. So when we're in the gym, we think about lunging, working on the posterior chain, that's the back of your body, also leg strength, also knee stability and that unilateral movement. Sit-ups, obviously that midline there, and then push-ups, making sure that we're also able to have good pushing and then pulling strength in the upper body because that push-up also works on the midline as we'll see shortly that we don't want to have any sagging or breaking. No different than when we're outside on that run. So the transferability of what we do in the gym to the road is also predicated on proper mechanics, making sure that we're moving well, but moving with a purpose and intensity is high. No different when we're running. We want to be running quickly, but we also want to make sure that we're running properly. That allows us to go further, go faster and longer. So let's start with the lunges. The lunges, there's a few different variations you can play with today. We can do a forward step lunge. We step forward, we drop that back knee, keeping the heel down, knee in line with the toe with that front foot. Then we step back, keeping that chest up. So again, think knee up, fall forward, heel down, and then again, knee can travel forward as long as the heel stays down and we want the knee not to go in or out, just in line with that toe box and then pressing up. Now, another option that we can have is simply a walking lunge where we step through into the next lunge there. That's completely fine. Again, every time the back knee touches counts as one rep, either in place or walking lunges will be fine today. Now for the sit-up, again, we have 20 sit-ups. So what we'd like to see here today is really working on the midline. So butterflying the knees out a little bit. So the soles of your feet are together, laying back, touching your shoulders on the ground behind you, and then sitting all the way up so your shoulders are in front of your hip crease. If you'd like, you can also roll up a towel or a sweatshirt and put it right under the small of your back. And that will also allow for a little more isolation of that midline, less on the hip flexors. That'll add some spice. And then for the push-ups. So for our 10 push-ups from here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure our hands are outside of our shoulders, fingers pointed out, not straight. From this position here, we're gonna pull our elbows back and in so our chest and thighs touch the ground and then press up to full extension. If that's too difficult, we can always drop to the knees and do the same thing, chest and thighs, and then pressing up. If 10 push-ups are too easy for you, you can absolutely add a deficit or you can add a little bit of a decline by putting your feet up on a step or a bench, making that push-up a little more challenging. All the while keeping your belly button pulled to your spine so that body goes up and down like a nice stiff board. So again, five rounds of these three movements, work hard and have fun.